Hello students. In this lesson, we will be learning about the sky. Watch the sky in the evening from the playground after playing the games. You will see some stars here and there. So if you watch the sky in the evening time, you will be able to see some stars here and there in the hazy sky. When the sky becomes clear, you can see countless stars. You will also be able to see shooting stars during the rainy season, thunder, lightning, cyclonic winds, rains, etc. are common. Are you eager to know how all of this takes place? It is day when the sun rises and it is night when the sun sets. So, when the sun rises, it is day and when the sun sets, it is night. The moon is seen at night. Shall we find out how these changes take place in the sky? I will show you a picture of the night sky. As you can see here, you can see the moon and the stars. You can also see countless stars in the sky here and a shooting star. This is an image of lightning in the night sky and this is a one of the full moon in the night sky. After studying this lesson, you will know about the sun and its family, understand the shape and size of the earth, its movement, causes of day and night, know about the meteors, asteroids and comets, understand the movements of the moon and its phases, Know why Earth is a unique planet amongst the other planets. Let us start by learning about the sun and its family. The sun and its family is known as the solar system. It comprises of 8 planets, 173 satellites, thousands of asteroids, meteoroids and comets. So, Satellites are bodies that revolve around the planets. Okay, the Earth has one satellite, which is that one. The natural satellite of the Earth is the Moon. Like that, the other planets of the solar system together have 173 satellites. Note this. The stars are self-luminous celestial bodies. The sun is also a star. The solar system is a part of a galaxy which is known as the Milky Way. Okay? I will show you an image of the solar system and the Milky Way. So, as you can see here, this is the solar system. The center is the sun and it is surrounded by eight planets. The third one that you can see over here is the Earth. This is an image of our galaxy that is the Milky Way. Milky Way is a collection of stars. It has numerous stars like the Sun. The Sun is a small part of our galaxy and as you can see here, the solar system is contained in that place of the Milky Way. Let us start by learning about the Sun. The Sun is a star. It is closer to the Earth than any other star. Therefore, it looks bigger and brighter than all other stars. Okay, so the Sun is also a star and it is very close to the Earth. I will show you an image of what the sun looks like. So, this is an image of the earth revolving around the sun. The sun is the center of our solar system and the other planets, they revolve around the sun. So, the sun is the center of the solar system. It exerts a gravitational pull on all its members. The gravitational pull is that pull that is exerted by any body that has mass. You will learn more about it in your higher classes. 
The sun provides light and heat to heat to us. It appears to rise in the east and set in the west. Okay, so let us see some images of sunrise and sunset. So here you can see that the sun is rising. Every day we will be able to see sunrise in the east and it will set in the west as we can see here. Do you feel that the sun is moving around the earth? So when we look at the sky, it will feel as though the sun is moving from the east to the west. Do you think it is the sun that is moving? No, the sun is not moving around the earth. Instead, earth is moving around the sun. We saw in this image how earth revolves around the sun. So the sun is in the center and earth is revolving around the sun. The heat and light of the sun is essential for human beings, plants and animals. So, the solar energy that we get from the sun is very essential for human beings, plants and animals. Next, let us go to this activity. Know this. In ancient times, people thought that the sun, the moon and the planets were orbiting the earth. This is known as the geocentric model. Geo means earth and model means their idea of what the solar system looked like. It was expounded by Claudius Ptolemy. Okay, so how you pronounce this is Ptolemy. Aryabhata, the first Indian astronomer and mathematician, proposed that the earth and other planets revolved around the sun. This is known as heliocentric model. Okay, so helio means the sun and centric means a center. Nicholas Copernicus, Johannes Kepler also supported this model. Later, Galileo Galilei, an Italian mathematician and physicist, invented a telescope and using it further supported the heliocentric model of Copernicus. So this is some additional information for you to know. Next, let us learn about the different planets. Planets, a celestial body orbiting the sun along an elliptical path is called as a planet. So any, a planet is any celestial body that is orbiting around the sun in an elliptical path. Every planet has its own path of movement which is known as the orbit. The earth also has its own orbit. The planets are non-luminous body. They receive light and heat from the sun. Here is an image of the solar system. As you can see here in the center, this is the sun and you can see the different planets that are revolving around the sun. Okay, and this, the third one, that is the earth. So you can see all of them have their own orbits. That is the path that you can see in light white color. The, those are the orbits of the different planets. The earth. It is our home and it is a unique planet in the solar system. It occupies the third place from the sun. It is the only planet of the solar system where there is life, okay? Because it has ideal conditions for life such as temperature, water and suitable atmosphere with life supporting gases. In our previous lessons, we have learned that in order for there to be life, there needs to be certain conditions. These conditions include appropriate temperature conditions. So if it is too hot or too cold for us, we won't be able to survive. And we need water to survive. Also, we need suitable atmosphere with life supporting gases. We have learned that we need oxygen for respiration. So the earth has all these conditions. Here is a picture viewing earth from the moon. So you can see here, this is a photo that of the earth that is taken from the moon. 
I will show you another image of the earth. You can see how the earth is rotating. So we will learn more about the rotation of the earth and how it causes day and night in the next part of this lesson. Let us now learn about the shape of the earth. It is confirmed by the scientists that the earth is slightly flattened at the poles and is bulging at the equator. Okay, so the earth is not perfectly like a ball. It is slightly flattened at the top and it is bulging at the equators. Such a shape is called geoid. Okay, so that we have given it a name based on the shape of the earth only. This means earth shaped. It denotes that the earth is not completely round or circular in shape. The size of the earth. The earth is the fifth largest planet in the solar system. Its equatorial diameter is 12,757 km and its polar diameter is 12,714 km. This shows that the polar diameter is less than the equatorial diameter by 43 kilometers. It denotes that the earth is spherical in shape. The total surface area of the earth is 510 million square kilometers. Now, let us move on to the next part of the lesson that is solar system, sun's family. Answer the following questions with the help of the above picture. So we can take a look at the picture that they have given above and answer the questions below. The first question is how many planets are there in the solar system? So we need to count how many planets there are in the solar system. Let us start with Mercury. So we have 1 Mercury, 2 Venus, 3 Earth, 4 Mars, 5 Jupiter, 6 Saturn, 7 Uranus and 8 Neptune. So we can say that there are 8 planets in the solar system. So let us write our answer here. There are 8 planets in the solar system. Next, write the names of the planets in the order. So let us try to write the names of the planets in the order. We will start with Mercury. So we have Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. So students, you can learn the names of these planets in order by remembering the first letter of each planet. Okay, so take into consideration the first letter of each planet and try to remember the names of the planets in order. So the names are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. To remember this, I will show you a trick. This is called as acronyming where you try to remember the name of something by using a sentence. In order to do this, you have to remember this sentence. So I have given the sentence here. The sentence is my very educated mother just show us nine planets. So if you remember this sentence, then you can easily recall the names of the planets. You just have to see the starting letter of each of these words. So M is Mercury. Very. So V is Venus. Educated E is Earth. Let me just adjust this for you. Okay. Mother M is Mars. Just A is Jupiter. Show S is Saturn. As U is Uranus. And nine planets N is Neptune. Okay. 
so you have to remember this sentence my very educated mother does show us nine planets okay so if you remember this one then you will easily be able to recall the planets in order so you might be wondering this one has nine planets in it how come there are only eight planets in the solar system this was because in earlier days there was one more planet in the solar system this was called pluto but however more recent research has concluded that pluto cannot be considered as a planet anymore you will be learning about this in your higher classes for now you have to remember that there are eight planets and you can use this sentence to remember the eight planets let us move on to the next question which is the nearest planet to the sun so as you can see here mercury is the closest to the sun okay so mercury is the planet that is closest to the sun next in which planet do we live this is an easy question so i will leave this one for you which is the biggest planet in the solar system so the answer to this question is jupiter okay jupiter is the biggest planet in the solar system in fact jupiter is so big that more than 1300 earths can fit into jupiter so if we go on taking earth planet and putting it into jupiter we can fill it up more than 1300 times okay so jupiter is the largest planet in the solar system next which is the smallest planet in the solar system the answer to this is mercury okay so mercury is the smallest planet in the solar system next which is the farthest planet from the sun so as you can see here neptune is the farthest planet from the sun so neptune is the farthest planet from the sun neptune is so far away from the sun that the sun looks very small from neptune so the sun looks like this from neptune if you can see here the small star is the sun how we see from neptune so neptune is the farthest planet from the sun okay what position has the planet earth from the sun so what is the rank of the earth from the sun first closest is mercury next venus next we have the earth so earth is the third planet from the sun okay so earth is the third planet from the sun this is the end of part 1 of the lesson the sky let us learn more about the different celestial bodies in part 2